Hey everyone, I'm AJ Wood. Thanks for joining me for episode number six of I Create Content. All right, it's Friday. That means the week's over. We're wrapping up our Photoshop week. If you caught Wednesday's episode, I showed you how to do luminosity sharpening with smart filters. Today I'm going to wrap up based on your comments. Let's take a look at how we can use the same smart filter technique for blurring images. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, I'm going to start off by simply right clicking. We convert to our smart object and I'm going to go to the filter menu choose blur and I'm going to choose a radial blur. Now I'll go ahead and change this from spin to zoom. I'm going to take this up to 100% and click OK. You can see right away uh, I get this kind of zoom blur effect but notice that my subject, the soccer player, is a little bit off to the right side of the image. So maybe you didn't know this about the zoom blur. I'm going to double click on it and you can actually change the positioning so I think the soccer player is somewhere right about here on the left side, excuse me, the right side of the photo. Click OK. It's almost there. A little bit more to the right, I think. So I'm just going to position a little bit up and to the right. Click OK. Now I've got the, bl uh, the blur kind of centered where I want it. Okay? It's coming out from him going towards the left of the frame. Because this is a smart filter, I can go ahead and paint the mask. So I'll grab my brush tool, set black as my foreground color, and I'm going to change the size of the brush. Now, I'm not going to brush at 100%. Okay, if I brush at 100%, notice how that doesn't really give me a nice transition of the blur. So what I'm going to do is brush small at 50%. So I'm going right here to opacity 50%. And now I can kind of casually brush him in and selectively choose which parts of him I want in focus. So go ahead and just paint a little bit. Hey, if I want to do bring him up in focus, remember you can tap your keyboard. So zero for 100%. Hey, go ahead, paint him a little bit more. Go over here to where the soccer ball is. And I'll paint right there. There's a soccer ball. I can always undo, reposition. A little bit smaller. Once again, I'll go 50%, kind of paint that a little bit. Okay? And there we have some selective blurring with smart filters. We've wrapped up our week of Photoshop. Hey, I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, please check out all the other videos that I have for the show. While there's only been six episodes of I Create Content, I have over 45 videos on the YouTube channel. So check them out. We got Lightroom, Photoshop, plenty of other stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what other software you want to see. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you next Monday.